It's great to be at Otsego. I'm joined today with a dear friend, uh, Stefan Ringenberg, who um, uh, in his own right is a tremendously talented hospitality manager, uh, a lovely wife, Naomi, who was also raised in Switzerland. Uh, but a special point is that uh, Stefan is the son of our late great ski school director, Hugo Bohm. As I am a second generation Otsego Club member, you are, my friend, a second generation uh, top management uh, person, and one doesn't really get any higher than general manager. And I'd just like you to, if you would, Stefan, share with us some of your thoughts on that. Well, um, very well put, Keith. Obviously, being back at the club, and, and that it is really for me, it's a return to the club. Uh, through my dad being reintroduced to the club many, many years ago, I visited a lot when I was a kid. Um, him being the director of ski school here, um, when he was, uh, his last year that he was ski school director here, I actually came up and um, more by need of necessity became a, a ski instructor and snowboard instructor per se uh, on his ski team which was always his biggest dream so that came through um, he then passed shortly thereafter unfortunately but my connection had obviously been solidified with the club even more i had made more friends we came around i've i've told the story a hundred times before that um, one of the new owners that took over the club recently and i actually ryan niles was standing right out here pretty much at this spot and uh, we were joking, this is about 10 years ago, and uh, I said, Ryan, you should, you should buy this place. This is really cool up here. And he looked at me and laughed and said, yeah, and you should run it. And <laughs> here we are, 10 years later, literally it's, it's karma. It came together that way. So the, the power of attraction and then to, to be working at a place like this, obviously, uh, where no matter what time of the year you you stand at the spot and you look out, it is just gorgeous. It doesn't matter if it's winter, summer, fall, spring. It is just plain gorgeous. So to be able to uh, uphold this opportunity for all the membership to be able to come up here, for all the children, for the generations to come through, where we have certain tables in the dining room where there's four generations sitting on one table and they've all been members here. And that's what this is all about. So taking the youth up, training them, getting them on the hill, getting them skiing up to the Olympians, being here and, and training for the, the biggest sports event in, in the history of mankind every four years that takes place. Uh, it's incredible. So being a part of that fills me really with a lot of pride. I, my dad's looking down at me, I know that, and he's telling me not to screw this up. But um, we've, we've had a great winter so far. It's been a wonderful season. Uh, obviously with the help of Keith in the back, he's got all the knowledge and, and the background to the place. We love to just take on the, the, the memories and, uh, and the traditions and, and make, make uh, the Otsego Club, formerly known as Hidden Valley, that's how I still remember it yeah. too, and make it prosper uh, as, as it used to. So that's our big goal here. And we're happy to be here, my wife, my kids, myself. It's, it's like coming home. Last night we had the opportunity to meet the two principals uh, who have uh, taken over the Otsego Club uh, with the eye at long-term lease and option to purchase. Uh, Ryan Niles and Roger Malley, uh, two great guys, all of whom have been longtime members. Uh, Ryan Niles has been here since he was five years old. Roger Malley's wife has been here since she was born and is uh, now going on uh, the Malley family fourth generation members, the Niles third generation members. Wonderful people keeping the action and keeping the spirit of Otsego alive. Our first interview is with Roger Malley, uh, and uh, who's going to share a few words uh, about his vision for Otsego. It's a great pleasure uh, to introduce Roger. Thank you, Keith. Uh, my name is Roger Molly, and I'm one of the new owners of the Atsego Club. And uh, as Keith mentioned, I married into the Atsego Club. So I was uh, lucky enough through my wife, uh, Amy Desitels, to be introduced to this place and to meet great people like uh, my partner, Ryan Niles. Um, so back in 1999, I came here as a guest, and uh, it was over Christmas break, and I walked in bought my lift ticket, I skied half a day, and I went back to my father-in-law and to my wife and said, okay, I'm in, how, how do I join? This place is great. And uh, I, I've been a member ever since. 
Um, and so how this all evolved is just, just skiing here and just realizing the, uh, the, the meaning of this place. Um, how special it was to all the members, to the family, and to my family. And when the announcement was made that it could possibly close, I think at that point um, I got together, Ryan Niles and I, and we we came to a decision that it just it just simply couldn't go away. And so it was through a lot of hard work that we put together a deal, and uh, and in the legacy of the Gornick family, what they started, and then through Osprey, uh, tried to continue on with the uh, the family ski traditions at Otsego. Um, and so, to your question of what do we plan here, uh, from the beginning, our plan was to make this the premier family ski and snowboard uh, destination uh, for the winter in Michigan, and um, I think we've done that. So. Our second interview is with Ryan Niles, uh, who's going to share a bit of the history uh, from the days that he was uh, almost in diapers uh, growing up here at Otsego to the point where now he and his family are up here enjoying it as well. Uh, should be very interesting. You know, what fun it is to uh, to have these interviews and uh, and uh, really talk about not just the past of the club, but the future. I have to say, I am so proud to have my good friend Ryan Niles be able to almost be taller than me because I remember, and this is going to embarrass him to death, when he was running around in diapers. His parents are my age and dear friends, and uh, I've been his honorary Uncle Keith, I think, for years. Ryan, a tremendously successful guy in his own right. Uh, certainly a member of this club, uh, grew up with my nephews and nieces and so many of us here. Few things in life could make this guy more proud than to see someone that I think so much of take over this club and move it to its next generation. And with that, um, almost tears in my eyes, I, I, I introduce Ryan Niles. Being involved in that Seagull Club's just been just been one of those special life-changing moments to where you know when Roger and I got together we said this place can't not go on I wouldn't be the man that I am today if it wasn't for this place the opportunities that I've had the people I've met uh, the experiences the freedom it, it just instills so much in young kids uh, to be here and be involved with uh, so many neat people and uh, just we were very fortunate to be uh, one of the families that were a part of that so with that you know Roger and I got together and said we couldn't have this place not go on uh, so we, we got together and put a deal together, and it's been it's been a lot of fun ever since. Uh, we didn't look at it as a business deal; we looked at it as an, a privilege to have the opportunity to for us to be really the stewards to kind of carry this on. The Gornick family did it for so many generations, and did it absolutely fabulously. Focused on families, focused on friends, focusing on fun. Uh, you know, Osprey did it. They they invested a lot. They did a lot to carry the tradition. Uh, you know, and now Roger and I are, are lucky enough to to hopefully take it and continue uh, continue the great privilege and opportunity to have this place. So, so we're we're excited to have the opportunity. We're working hard at it. Uh, every day is exciting uh, here. There's uh, a lot of great people, a lot of great situations, a lot of great weather. Uh, so we're we're having fun with it all. So uh, we're, we're fortunate. So with that. Uh, we're looking forward to the future. Needless to say, the resort is in great hands, and I see it moving for another 75 years. Uh, it's just great to see the comeback of members and the enthusiasm uh, that, that these two gentlemen and their team have generated. It's great to be at Otsego.